Welcome back, YouTubers. And today we got another video, just some gameplay, and um, pretty much, I, I'm, it's a good game. So yeah, you watch this while I tell you some really interesting news. First of all, it's about Black Ops 2, and that it's about Black Ops 2, but it's not really about it. It's more like for Call of the Elite. Now, if you have Call of the Elite, and um, which is like 50 bucks, I think. Depending on where you buy it from. Now, that's changing in Black. Oops, sorry. That's changing in Black Ops 2. There's no more paid version and free version anymore. Um, Holiday Elite will be free. That's all. If you want to buy your map, you're gonna have to go to um, buy a seasonal pass, or you have to buy a. Uh, Maps per thing. Sorry, I'm lost for words. So that's pretty interesting. I think that so you can make your clans now without having to pay for the whole thing. It, this is a really good opportunity for uh, Activision. But if you want the maps, you're still gonna have to pay. That's the same for every game. DLC is always always paid for. Though they'll probably bring max maps back from the previous one. Now. And more Black Ops 2 news. So yeah, that's pretty much the biggie right now. Is this, like... I'm just really interested. I, I cannot wait. I, I didn't want to buy Elite. Because I didn't feel like spending 50 bucks on a on something that wasn't even a game. Because I really want to make a clan. Now I can do that. My clan, my clan is Babam. B-A-B-A-M! Exclamation point. Now you look that up and you'll find my clan. Uh, it's only on PS3 right now, so if you're not on PS3, don't even try. Now, if you're getting Black Ops 2, which package are you getting? I really want to know from my viewers. Are you getting Harden? Are you going to get just the regular pre-order? Like, what are you going to get? Because I think Black Ops 2 is going to be an amazing game. Um, I will do an unboxing of it. I'll do my personal review. And, um, I don't know. That just says it. it. Nothing really else to talk about. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 comes out very soon. I will do an unboxing of it. Uh, I'll kind of explain more about it when it comes out. Uh, but that's pretty much it right now. There's not many big games coming out. So, what games are you interested in? My viewers, the many I have. Nah, <laughs> just kidding. Like, cause I'm, I'm just interested in this, those three. Dishonored, Lex looks pretty good. Let's talk about like Game of the Year real quick. The five games I think will become nominees for the Game of the Year, five at max, will probably be Borderlands 2. Dishonored, Assassin's Creed 3, we got, well, we got three so far, Mass Effect 3 from the beginning of the year, this is always a game from the beginning of the year, like Portal 2 last year, and I'm not sure what the fifth one would be, maybe some Nintendo game, like the new Super Mario Bros. U, but that's pretty, like, that's pretty much it. I'm just really interested in... in Oh my god, Black Ops 2. Sorry. Now, zombies in Black Ops 2, I think if you don't like if you don't like Call of Duty whatsoever, you just don't like their multiplayer, you don't like what they look like, the graphics, all that shit. Buy it for the zombies. It's zombies, like come on, it's like probably the point one of the like greatest things in this game you buy that you buy it just for that reason you play that it's eight players now multiplayer and that's like crazy that alone you should just buy it for I'm very interested in just zombies I'm just I can't wait for it so with theater okay so back in Call of the Elite not only can you follow your uh, not can you make your clan but you can also follow your multiplayer statistics like you can now, and your zombie statistics. So that's pretty interesting. 
So, and, I'm, and with theater mode, there's a lot of stuff you can do now compared to this game, compared to Marvel 3, or the original Black Ops, uh, if you wanted to compare the two games together. <clears throat> now, I will be giving my personal review on it. And I have a personal review for Borderlands 2. I'm going to give it a 9.5. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. A whole bunch of the people are gonna get nines, some of 9.5s. I'm just gonna give it a 9.5 because the only thing I really find wrong with it is somehow time it glitches, it lags up, and that's really the only thing, and it, it doesn't happen that much. You could say the graphics are horrible and everything, but I think they're pretty good for what the for what it is. I think it's just really good. The 9.5 for Borderlands 2, and a def a sure enough game to be Borderlands for a game of the year. I think it's definitely worthy of coming game of the year. And that's it, guys. Like, subscribe, peace out, and bam. And as you can see here, 61 and 7. Coolmate1070. Peace out, and bam. Already said that, but whatever. Bye.